press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss an update from my channel. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video which is going to be every girl's best friend. And the reason why I say that is because today's video is going to be about makeup tips and hacks. So not all the time we have everything that you require to do a, a perfect makeup to achieve like the most perfect look every single time. Uh, the times like these, if you know certain hacks, uh, it's just helpful to take your makeup game to another level. I believe that hacks are the most important things that you need to know uh, when you're doing makeup because they're just like shortcuts, you know, they're like easier way to do things, uh, shorter ways to do things or to do things with limited resources. So I'm going to quickly run you through this short and sweet but very helpful and informative uh, tutorial okay so to begin with i'm going to talk about the importance of this setting spray now we all have a setting spray in our uh, makeup kit i mean it could be any brand it doesn't matter what it really does is that it helps you s keep your makeup in place and we usually use it use this at the end of doing your makeup so we just spray it in the end but what you can really do with a setting spray is if in case you need a really long lasting makeup uh, what you can do is you can spray the spray on your um, beauty blender or on the foundation brush whichever foundation brush that you're using uh, you can spray it on that and then apply the foundation like for example this is the foundation I'm using for example and so what you do is you just spray a little bit on the sponge and then you start buffing in the foundation what this will do is not just give a dewy finish but also lock the makeup in place in the application process so this is a very helpful tip now we all know how important brows are i feel brows are the most underrated things when you do makeup if you have good brows um, you already look a lot more glamorous so, so here's a quick tip after you shape your brows and fill in your brows and create the perfect shape shape that you're looking for what you can do is with a light concealer like say I'm using MAC NC 35 in this case you can take a little bit of, of your concealer preferably in a lighter color than the foundation and just apply it right under uh, the arch and along the line of your brow and you can go ahead and blend it on your lid so that you don't see a sharp concealed line you see the difference between this brow and this brow this immediately looks a lot more highlighted so days when your brows are not threaded or you haven't groomed your brows uh, sorry so the days when you haven't got the time to go to the salon and get your brows uh, threaded this is a great tip it also conceals the extra hair if in case you have any on your brow bone uh, or right under the brows so there you go it instantly lifts your brow it just gives it's like a brow lift you can call that call it that there you go you see how lifted my brows look so this is a great hack we all uh, set our foundation and concealer with powders with loose powders compact powders whatever that is now if you don't like a very powdered cakey uh, like really powdered finish like a really matte finish what you can do is I'm going to use a compact powder example in this case uh, instead of applying the powder with a brush what you can do is apply it with a damp uh, beauty blender so this beauty blender is really damp in fact it has a setting spray in it take a little bit and then apply it what this will do is it will leave in the moisture from the dampness of the sponge so it won't give that really matte powdery finish to your face like do you see the difference 
Like I have applied the powder foundation. My skin still looks a lot more dewy and moisturized. So it is a really great tip to have that natural dewy skin like finish. Okay, next tip is great if you have like really tired droopy looking eyes. You know there are days when we are like working day and night when we're doing so many things and our eyes tend to look so tired and like as though you haven't got enough sleep and just dull in general. So to instantly have that bright eyes, open eyes uh, look what you can do is use a flesh colored uh, liner this is a skin liner and it is in flesh tone uh, I know some people like to use white liner as well but especially for my skin tone white liner looks a little more stark for this uh, hack so I like to use a flesh toned liner this is how it looks just line the inner corner of your eye and blend it out don't forget to blend it out because it can look really weird if you don't so just with a brush or even uh, your fingertip you can just slightly give it a tap and as you can see your eyes look instantly popping you almost instantly look a lot more awake with this hack so ladies always 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 keep a flesh toned liner in your makeup kit Okay, this is a quick hack for your lips just to make sure that your lips look a lot more uh, fuller, more pouty and as though they are in really good shape. Uh, what you can do is take a concealer of your skin tone color and just apply it right where you want to create that line. And with a moist beauty blender, you can just blend it out. As you can see, it almost creates this really beautiful shape in the corner. And also, it gives a very nice cupid uh, bow, which is a lot more visible and a lot more pouty. While we are talking about lip hacks, uh, let me sh just show you quickly how you can... Uh, create a really pouty fuller lip look using two lip shades so i'm using the huda beauty uh, lip colors in icon and bombshell whatever lipstick color that you're using in this case i'm using icon so that is a single color that i've applied all across my lips now to give it a nice pout what you can do Let's take a lighter lip color this is uh, huda beauty in bombshell and just apply it on the center of the lip just in the center by doing this what you've done is you've created an appearance of a fuller pouty lips and in case you want to take your lip game one level up what you can do is you can highlight your cupid's bow so for which i'm going to use an angle brush and i'm literally going to take any highlighter and just highlight my cupid's bow and you can also place some on the center and blend it down so as you can see my lips look a lot more fuller and poutier because I've highlighted the higher plane of my lip and I've let the the corners of my lip recede back so that is a really helpful hack okay next tip is for the eyes now when we are creating this beautiful smoky eye soft smoky eye looks usually what happens is for example i've taken a dark brown color and i'm just like 
creating this eye contour right here like a create creating a beautiful shadow so what happens a lot of times is you kind of bring it out like way further than where it's supposed to be so there's nothing to worry i mean you can fix things like these really quick what you should what you should do is take a wet wipe now this is a wet wipe that i have take a wet wipe and hold the hold it like this and just rub it across the area where you want to clean the eye shadow so if you rub it in the straight line it instantly gives you the line where your smoke e smoky effect should end you can quickly fix it with your concealer and that's about it and then you can just fix it with your setting powder So there you go you have a really easy and quick smoky eye which just looks as perfect as it looks on celebrities I know a lot of you girls struggle all your life with lash application like how you wish you could just like have it as easy as a cake walk instead of attempting to apply false lashes um uh, in one go like in a single piece what you can do is you can cut it in two yes uh so this is my falsies right here and i'm using this nail clipper and i'm going to cut it in two parts so i'm cutting it in two parts now you have two small pieces of the same eyelash which is much easier to apply so when you cut it remember which is the piece that has to go on the outer corner and the piece that has to come on the inner corner and then you can attempt applying your lashes that is a great tip for lash application do try it next time i promise you your lash application is going to be a lot more easier with this hack i know a lot of you girls love a sharp chisel face and attempt contouring as well uh but a lot of times what happens is you just can't get a hang of uh getting that really sharp contour line For example i contour my cheeks and say i bring it down accidentally i'm not saying we do it deliberately and now you don't know what to do with this really mucky looking patch on your cheeks but not to worry there's a real quick hack to fix this what you can do is with your translucent powder just create a line where that contour is supposed to end so you created this line so what you're doing is you're cleaning up that messy mucky looking over contoured cheeks and then dust it off with a clean brush so that's how you clean up a over contoured cheek moving on to correction now a lot of times we need a orange corrector because we tend to have dark circles and uh, pigmentation under our eyes and instead of investing in a orange corrector which is not which may or may not be so expensive but instead of buying a orange corrector the best thing to do is uh we all have orange lipsticks in our bag like we all do i don't know anybody who doesn't have a orange or orange toned lip color so what you can do is this is a hack for color correction take very little on the brush okay so someone wrote to me the other day that every time they try to do the orange correction and then go over it with a concealer what happens is uh the whole under eye looks orange There are two reasons why that happens. One is you've applied too much of the orange corrector under your eyes, and two, you haven't tapped it with your finger. If you just apply it with the brush and leave it like that, of course it's going to look orangey. Oh, even after the application of concealer. So make sure I've taken very little amount on my brush. You blend it out with your fingers. 
so what what i've done is i've left a streak of color i haven't deposited the color as it is so blend it out and then go ahead with your concealing routine you see instant under eye brightening I mean what would we do without makeup just look at the difference just look at this eye and look at this eye it doesn't look orangey at all and it looks so flawless and airbrushed it's not even funny and then you can go ahead and set it with your setting powder the last hack for the day but an important one i don't know any woman who does not like to apply mascara so i'm assuming that this is something that happens to all of us sometimes what happens is you apply mascara and your mascara is too heavily coated on your lashes which makes your lashes look like really tacky so what you can do is while the lashes are wet we all have a brush like this take the comb end of the brush and just brush out the excess product so what this will do is not just take the excess out but it will also comb out the lashes making them look longer and fuller so that brings us to the end of this tutorial i hope these tips and hacks really help you achieve a flawless makeup with limited resources and with a lot of expertise thank you for watching this tutorial till the end guys i hope you enjoyed watching today's tutorial if there's anything that you would like to watch on my channel please do leave your comments below and i promise you to deliver and uh, what else that i always say that i need to say now don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, keep spreading the love thank you for watching guys bye guys